I always see my violin friend, they do trills and they can do it with measure and I thought maybe vocal should do the same thing as well Today we will talk some theory about the true practice for Panofka Opus 81 number 19 I've been singing a lot of vocal exercise written by Panofka but I didn't really uh, talk about his background He was actually a German violinist and he's a composer He's born in 1807 and died in the year of 1887 That means his music is in the Romantic era like I said in my vocal practice routine for this music, the aim I do this exercise is because I want to understand how many demi semi quavers and also to understand the termination in a trio. Technically wise, I want to practice the evenness um, in the alternation of the notes and also the accuracy of the pitch because the story has to go back to the conducting lesson that I attend to I always see my violin friend, they do trills actually they do tremolo and they can do it with measure and I thought maybe vocal we should do the same thing as well because I have been doing trill without really knowing what's happening inside the trill so I want to find out there are two kinds of trill one is that you start from the note above the second type is start on the note itself and in this practice all trill comes with termination besides bar 25 and 27 all the trills I put it in 8 demi semi quiver per crotchet so let's talk about the first type of trios with uh, achakatura we have a minim it will be 16 demi semi quiver starting on the higher notes including the termination and now let's talk about another type of trios that starts on the principal notes and come with the termination if, if your score did not indicate and small achakatura note before the principal notes that means you have to start your trill on the principal notes and then followed by the note above and the trill has to end on the principal notes therefore you will have a triplet figure in the termination but in bar 25 and 27 bit number 3 with 8 demi semi quaver and bit number 4 with quintuplet this is because the composer added two comma here that means it's a breathing point for us to take a breath if we make bit number three and bit number four a total of 16 demi semi quaver then you might not have enough time to catch a breath to continue the next bar so that's the reason i adjust the note value if you have any better suggestion for this part maybe you can leave a comment and so let us know what's your thoughts about the trill in these two bars the three places that I find it uh, tricky is let's look at bar number 10 there's a sharp above the trill that means this trill starts on the principal note and then followed by a D sharp so we have to be careful with the C sharp and D sharp because when I practice I will listen wrongly in my head I will listen C sharp and D that's one place and then the next place is bar 21 uh, if you see D natural and followed by C natural tricky because one bar before is a major few and then after that it become three flats you have to be careful with the intonation here this music has three sharp that means it's in A major so regarding to bar 21 if A is your do D will be your fa and C sharp is me but now there's C natural so it's meh so if we sing starting from bar 20 it will be fa do fa mi do mi fa me um, I might not be uh, on pitch now one more thing that I feel is very tricky is starting from bar 24 to bar 27 it's a whole bunch of trio so how I solve this part is by singing the scale Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi 
and then come back to bar 28 Ray, come back to array okay now understand the termination is me re me fa mi fa so fi so la si la ti la ti do ti do re do re mi re mi re okay because there's a lot of things happening first intonation mi fa mi re mi and then you have to im land on the correct note and another thing is we have to align the demi semi quaver correctly into each quaver bit so that we won't use the time of the next bit rhythmically wise we have eight demi semi quaver for the first bit and four demi semi quaver plus five demi semi quaver a quintuplet as i mentioned about if our trill starts on the principal notes then we will have a triplet figure uh, during the termination so when we change from four demi semi quiver to five demi semi quiver we have to prepare in our mind to change it uh, otherwise it, it will use up the time of the next beat and for the termination we have to sing clearly so that each note can be heard i also want to talk about pitching because the trill is moving very fast the alternation between two notes is very quick and our minds have not enough time to really listen to the note carefully so it is important to know the solfege of the music another tricky part of this exercise is that when we have two notes alternating for example so la so la so la so fi so we have to be aware with the top note listen to the top note <laughs> listen to the top notes i went to a webinar a flute teacher actually mentioned about the trills of flute playing um she actually drew a picture for us and i would like to draw it for you if this is our trill if this is do and this is re do re do re you have to listen to the top note otherwise it's going to be like this then our pitch is not accurate it's 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 not up to re and it is not going down to do it's not full if you want to refer to the trills that i write out and explain in this video you can purchase the score by clicking the link below in the description box if you want to hear any topic about singing please fill in the form so that i can make a video for you if you like my content please like and subscribe to my channel and connect with me on my facebook page thank you for watching and see you in the next episode